More than 600,000 people remain without power across Louisiana, Mississippi, and Texas. In the wake of Hurricane Delta, the storm roared ashore last night. It's since been downgraded, but is still very dangerous. CBS News reports tonight from Lake Charles, Louisiana. For the second time in two months, Lake Charles is picking up the pieces after another massive storm. Hurricane Delta made landfall Friday as a Cat 2, taking almost the same path as Hurricane Laura just six weeks ago. The wind is relentless right now, hitting about 70 miles per hour. On Saturday, volunteers with the Cajun Navy cleared debris so people could return to their homes. The tens of thousands of Louisianans uh, as we speak we're in a very difficult situation, uh, and we're going to do everything we can, working with our federal and local partners, to make sure that we're addressing their needs. But in Lake Charles, where so many homes had already been damaged by Hurricane Laura, residents like Russell Wright are finding it hard to stay positive. And last night, in the middle of the night, when this was going on, water was almost up to the door, and it was, you know, once again, here we go. and. You got to rebuild again. Wright had just started repairing the damage Laura left on his home. Overnight, Delta blew off his protective blue tarp, drenching everything inside, sending him back on his roof Saturday to start all over again. The pain of losing everything and in being without and everything else that's going on, and then this, and then this again. It's bad. Almost every homeowner on this block is just like Russell Wright, working with the insurance companies on repairs after Laura. But after Hurricane Delta, those adjusters are going to have to come back out again. They'll start a new claim, reassess each one of these homes, and try and figure out if anything is salvageable. Mireya Villarreal, CBS News, Lake Charles, Louisiana.